Hi, my name is Alex and I'm a naturalist with East Bay Regional Park District. I'm here today at Shadow Cliffs in our pollinator garden with our animal ambassador, one of our gopher snakes, Julia Squeezer. Now, today I'll be talking just really briefly about some identification of gopher snakes and how we can tell the difference between them and rattlesnakes that you may encounter on trail. Now, gopher snakes have this beautiful coloration throughout their body. This is gonna help them blend in with any leaf litter or dead grass that's on the ground, as well as camouflage against potential predators for them. Now, when identifying versus a rattlesnake, there's three main things that you can tell that are different. The first is the shape of their head. Now, for this gopher snake, you can tell that the head has this ovalish shape. Now this oval shape is different from a rattlesnake because it, the rattlesnakes are going to have a more triangular or diamond shaped head. The other major difference is the tail. So gopher snakes don't have any sort of rattle versus a rattlesnake and their tail is going to be long and tapered. The other major difference and the one that's most easily seen, especially at a distance, is body shape. Now, the gopher snake has a long, lean, slender body. And this slender body is really different from that of the rattlesnake, which tends to have a much shorter length body, as well as a much thicker body cavity. Now, the gopher snake gets its name because it does actually like to live in gopher holes. So you'll frequently find them in holes around the park. But unlike their gopher friends, they are unable to dig those holes themselves. So these friends have to find those holes. Well, I don't know if the gophers would necessarily think they're friends because these might eat them. They're going to eat our small mammals like mice, rats, voles, moles, and then also potentially small gophers. When you're out on the trail and you see a snake, you wanna make sure that you give them plenty of space. They have no desire to get super close to you, so as long as you give them their space, they should give you your space as well. And I hope that you all have a wonderful day and enjoyed getting to meet our animal ambassador, our gopher snake, Julius Squeezer.